right guys, we did it again. We made some purchases, we got a new rod coming in. It's a familiar rod, something that you've seen on this channel before, recently, just a different model. I fell in love with the other one so much, I had to go back and grab another one for a slightly different application. But before we get into that, I wanna to talk to you guys about something serious that we never really talked about on this channel, and that's boater safety. You know, when you're out there on the water and you got 100 plus boats out there on some of these tournaments, a million things can go wrong. Even if you're out there on a lake by yourself, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So make sure you guys are always wearing your life jackets. Make sure you're paying attention to the weather. Make sure you you know your boat, most importantly, and the capabilities of your boat and what it can handle. Sometimes when that wind gets up or there's a lot of wake, and be familiar with the water that you're running uh, and at what speed you're running at. I know sometimes we take those things for granted. We can get on the water, we can be careless, we can, you know, be taken off to our first spot and you know anything can happen and it's very important to make sure you guys are always wearing your kill switch uh, attached to you I know in the state of Texas that is a new requirement it needs to be attached to you at all times and most of the time in all tournaments wearing your life jacket when you're running the big motor um, I know when that wind gets up pretty high and I'm up there on the front deck I throw my life jacket on uh, just because you never know you know it only takes a second to fall off that boat and you know I consider myself a pretty good swimmer but you never know it only takes a second so with that said um, you know I, I buy a lot of six cents fishing stuff and I support that company I have no affiliation with the company uh, I'm not sponsored by them in any way but like I've told you on this channel before uh, if I find companies that make a good product support their product and stand behind their product and especially, uh, you know, a, a, a company here in the United States of America, I'm going to support that company. And, you know, something that they did recently for a fellow angler of ours in the fishing community. And that's what I kind of like about the fishing community, uh, whether it's online, whether it's the, the pro circuits, you know, we're kind of a family in the fishing community. And, and what they did recently was they came out with uh, a few items to support a fellow angler who had a recent boating accident uh, during a tournament. And... Uh, from my understanding, he's doing a lot better, and he's out of the hospital. And uh, just want to take a moment and say, man, I'm glad you're doing okay. Uh, the fishing community's got your back, and uh, thank you, Six Cents, for doing what you did and coming out with those products. And 100% uh, of the proceeds on those products do go to the family. So if you guys want to help out the fishing community or Brady, uh, build Brady back is the hashtag. And um, on Six Cents website, there's a few items on there. I think there's a shirt and a sticker, and all those proceeds do go to the family. So that's what we're gonna crack into first. Um, I went ahead and purchased a shirt on the website and supported the family. Again, all these proceeds do go to uh, the family. Helping them recover, get back out on the water to do some good fishing. Like always, a couple stickers and a shirt. And it actually looks like a pretty good shirt, good quality here. So I've actually never purchased any of the shirts from Six Cents before, so this is my first shirt, and uh, I couldn't be happier that it's it's a shirt that they came out with uh, for the family during this time. So there it is. It's a long sleeve shirt. Share this video, guys. Build Brady back. Let's help him out. We're a fishing community. Let's do it together, guys. Cool. Big shots out to the six for doing that. Let's get off into it. Um, since we're going with the six cents theme, I got a box here from six. I got some more lures from a company that um, on one of my early videos, I had some custom um, lures that I won on an auction and isn't the jig company. This is Colorado Custom Lures. She does a lot of great paint jobs. So if you guys are looking for some custom painted lures or you got some blanks that you want painted up, hit up Colorado Custom Lures. We'll get into those here in a minute. But let's crack open into the Six Cents box. Um, as you can see behind me, we got a new rod in. And as always, we're saving the best for last. But I can give you a hint. It has something to do with what's in this box. Ooh, I don't have this color yet. Nice sack. I don't have that navy blue there. Look at that. Dallas Cowboys, Super Bowl Sunday, yeah, the Cowboys aren't in it, but it's alright. We'll get there. We'll get back. Nice sack there. Some more stickers. Alright, so one of these items I do have, the other one I don't have. And 
The first one is one that I do have, but when they first came out, I was unable to hop on and get this color. So they re-released some of these and uh, one of the colors I wanted I saw was there. So I jumped on it and I got it. And that is another trace. And this is a, this is actually a fast sinking. So I think I have, I have a slow sinking trace in the wild shad. But one of the colors that Sixth Sense has that I really like is the bone colors. And um, this is the bone pearl trace from Sixth Sense. So let's take it out. It's really going to target those bigger bass, so I'm excited about that. I'm new to the swim bait game, but I can tell you right now, this thing right here, going to catch some bigs. I'm stoked on that bone pearl. You know, in my body of water, it's very clear. So these bone colors, these uh, clear, these translucent colors, they do really well uh, on my home body of water. Check this out, guys. Woo. You know, uh, I'll be honest, I've been fishing a lot of the draw, which is the bigger glide bait a lot. Really trying to get my cadence down with that glide bait. You know, it's kind of an art, if you will, getting that cadence down, getting those wide glides, you know, getting those fish to, to kind of react to it. So I've been out playing with it a little bit. I haven't been playing with the trace a lot, but I know there's the same way. You can fish it a lot of different ways. And uh, some of the guys that I've been seeing catching them on some of these uh, multi-jointed swim baits is kind of just burning them back, burning them back, letting them get to that target zone and burning them back. And those big fish come out and bam. There you go. So that's the Bone Pearl and the Six Cents Trace. You guys, I think there's still some traces and some of those draws, the, the glide baits, and something else that I wasn't able to get on the first time they came out is the Sweep. And these are a soft swim bait. It's a Six Cents Soft Swim Bait. And this is the 4K Gizzard color. So let's crack one of these open and check it out. Ooh, and this is a really soft swim bait. So um, the seven or eight dot uh, belly weighted hook. There's an opening there. So you're gonna have that belly weight down here. Let it sink down to your target zone. Start reeling. It's gonna have that wide kick there. A lot of action. Again, these lures right here, we're targeting some bigger fish. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out here. We're gonna fish some more of these swim baits. We're gonna get on some bigger fish. So that's what I got from the six, a couple swim baits, the trace from six cents and the bone pearl, and then the 4K gizzard and the sweet, the soft swim bait. I'm really excited. I, you know, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I've ever fished uh, a soft swim bait of this size. Uh, I fished a three, four inch swim bait before, but I haven't fished uh, anything this big. So I'm excited to get out there and try this sweep out. I've heard good things about it and I've seen some good fish uh, caught on this. All right, Colorado Custom Lures. I'm gonna give you guys an up close look at these because I'm telling you, uh, when I saw these paint schemes, uh, I actually had about four or five more in the cart, but um, I, I scaled it back a little bit. Uh, I would have loved to bought all of them, but uh, we just went with a few, but I can promise you, Colorado Custom Lures, you guys looking for some bad looking paint jobs, you guys need to check them out. All right, all right, Oof. let's check these out, all right. The first one is, you know, it's pre-spawn right now, right? Early spring. These reds are about to start popping off. And this is, I believe, I don't know if they're written on here, but I believe these are the 1.5. I think all these are the 1.5 size. Uh, and these are the medium divers. So they're gonna dive down into that six to eight foot range. And these reds, I'm gonna tell you, it's about to start popping off with these red crankbaits. And this one's got kind of a red middle area to an orange belly and almost like a dark purple back yeah check this one out orange belly and that dark purple back there yeah i can't wait i can't wait for them to start hitting these reds i got a lot of red crankbaits so i've been dying to throw uh i've been out there throwing them a little bit but hasn't quite started yet uh i've caught a few on them but um, this one right here I'm excited about. The next one is a color that I don't have a lot of. I'm not really sure how it's going to do, 
but when I saw this paint job, I really had to get on it. And this is a, a crappie color, I believe, that she did on this crankbait. And it's kind of a crappie pattern. And this is a regular 1.5, so this one's gonna go down into that two to four foot range. Yeah, this one's gonna do good here. Look at that pattern. Got white belly, to a light green, to a dark green, to a black with that crappie pattern on there. I'm not sure how this was gonna do. Um, I really like the paint job, the main reason I got it, but I have a feeling it's gonna do pretty good. If not on my home body, I have a couple other lakes that I have a feeling it's gonna do really good on. This last one, saving the best for last. This is kind of a brown orange color but the pattern on it, and it's like a flat, flat paint job, and the pattern on it. When I saw it online, I was like, man, this is what really caught my eye. This was the first one that I saw that caught my eye. This is another medium diver. It's gonna dive down into that five to eight foot range. But man, this paint job, it's like a flat paint with the dark brown to a light brown, almost to like a really light, light brown into an orange. And an orange belly, bright orange belly. I think this is going to do pretty good here in the springtime as well. Check that out. That dark brown back, to that side, to that bright belly. That right there is probably one of the best paint jobs, custom paint jobs I've seen on a lure in person. Not just over the computer, but in person. I'm really stoked about this one. This one's going to do really good. So. That's it from Colorado Customs and Six Cents. We didn't have a lot this time, uh, but I wanted to get in and I wanted to make a video and especially talk to you guys about some of that boater safety stuff. I wanted to open up some of these custom lures from Colorado Custom Lures, show you some of these new swim baits that I got from Six Cents because I have a feeling we're going to get out here pretty soon and we're going to be throwing some of these swim baits and catching some fish. So I wanted to show them to you before we got out there in the water with them and started catching fish with them. So here we go. I did it again. We bought another rod yes i know another one but we needed this one and i'm going to tell you why why we needed this one Ooh. Ooh. no way there's two rods in here why is there two rods in here i didn't order two rods I didn't order two rods. Why is there two rods in here? I don't know, but we're about to find out why we got two rods. Because I promise you, I did not order two rods. Nope, there is only one rod on this invoice. Just to let you see it. Quantity, one. So, with that, um, American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors. You guys need any equipment from fishing reels to fishing rods. They sell new rods and reels and they also have a really big used rod and reels collection. And I'll be honest with you, most of the rods and reels that I've been buying recently that you're seeing on this channel are all slightly used rods. I haven't been buying anything new. Um, they are really good conditioned rods and they clean them up and they fix them if there's anything wrong with them and then they sell them uh, at a really good price. You know, uh, some of these rods and reels can get into the, the high price range and I'll be honest with you, none of the rods that I have are high tier rods. But I can tell you that uh, American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors is a great company, another great company that I've been buying some rods and reels from lately. So you guys go check them out. I will be reaching out to Graham over there at American Legacy Fishing and letting him know that I got two rods sent to me because uh, I didn't order two. So uh, I, don't, I don't know why he sent me two. And I'm just going to reach out to him because I might be sending one of these back to him. But let's open them up and see what they are. Because I'm not even sure what they are. I know what one is, but I don't know what the other one is. So, Yep. Definitely two rods. So, let's see. This first one is. It's going to come to no surprise to most of you guys that have been watching the channels. But it's another Dobbins rod and it's another fury series rod now the fury series rods are um their second i think the colt is their entry level so it's just above their entry level model um 
I have some of the Caden rods, which is one step up from here. And then they go up to the Champion and then the Champion uh, Extremes and then the um, Ecstasy series. So this is one of their uh, middle of the range rods. And on the last channel, you saw me open up the 806, the eight foot six power swim bait rod. I've been throwing my Alabama rigs on that uh, 806. And while it does it easy, I mean, it's, it's almost a little too, too much for that umbrella rig. Uh, it does it fine, but I'm going to stick to the bigger glide baits, the 7, the 8, the 9, the 10 inch glide baits on the 806 and some of these smaller 6 inch, uh, 1 ounce to 3 ounce baits I'm going to use this one for. And this is the 795 swim bait rod from Dobbins. The Dobbins Fury 795 swim bait rod, 7 foot, 9, 5 power and it's the swim bait glide bait umbrella rig so uh, most of my umbrella rigs are a little bit smaller I don't have any giant umbrella rigs so I, this is going to do really well on the umbrella rigs and the smaller swim baits and glide baits it's a little bit lighter a little bit shorter and I'm going to keep that 806 for some of my bigger baits so let's get it all out of here out of all this plastic and check it out Woo. yeah yeah that 806 is a beast. Let me tell you, that 806 is, is is a giant. I was throwing those umbrella rigs out there in the land of the giants, and it was a uh, it was a workout. It's a beast of a rod, you know. But I think something like this is going to do a little bit better. It's a little bit lighter, and it's gonna it's gonna help me out a little bit throwing some of those all days. But this is the 795 swim bait rod. But yeah, Dobbins Fury. So we got another Dobbins rod. Let's see what the other rod is that they sent here. I'm not gonna open it up because I'm gonna reach out to, to Graham and I'm gonna tell him that he sent me another one and I, and I didn't buy it. So we might be sending this one back. So um, maybe we can work something out with Graham and I might keep it. It's actually the same exact rod. It's the 795 uh, swim bait rod. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, maybe they accidentally packaged uh, another rod in there, but it's the same exact model. So we're gonna reach out to Graham again and let him know we sent it. So. That's all I got, guys. I appreciate y'all watching this video, and stay tuned. We got some more videos coming up. We're going to be on the water. We're actually going out of town, and I might be doing some uh, bank fishing uh, out on the West Coast here pretty soon. So I'm going to see what I can take with me. Um, maybe do some bank fishing videos for you guys. See if we get out there. See if we get a, a California bass. I hear they like swim baits in California, so... Um, Maybe we'll try to get out there and get on a swim bait from the bank. So, uh, again, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, sub to the channel and drop me a like, drop me a comment. And it really helps me out. It really helps the channel out. And I appreciate it. Once again, guys, we'll see you soon from Beasley Bassin.